Hi guys, back with another tactic test. This one was uploaded to my website. It's called Mouse Map version two. If you want to download it, link for it will be in the description below. And if you can't download it for any reason, I will run over this tactic at the end of the video. It was uploaded to my website. So first of all, thank you for uploading to my website. And if you've got a tactic and you want to share it, please go to my website. It will be in the description below and share your tactic there. And let me know if you want it tested for the tactic test in league as well. Right, we're going to test it with three teams, Man City, Brighton and Luton. But before we go any further, you can leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't done already. That would be amazing because we test a lot of tactics here trying to find the best tactic of FM24. And we found some absolutely cracking tactics. Is this going to be another one? Let's find out. So starting with Main City's results, Community Shield, a 5-0 fraction of Arsenal, which is excellent. We also beat Man United in the Carabao Cup, excellent. But then Arsenal getting their own back in the final of the Carabao Cup, coming out on top 4-2. A little bit disappointing. And in the FA Cup, we scored a lot, a lot of goals, but we got knocked out in the quarterfinal here, though, against Chelsea. This was very entertaining, but we lost 6-4. But we did pick up the Super Cup, beating Sevilla, nice and comfortable, 4-0. On to the big competitions now, starting with the Champions League, where we finished in second place. We won three, and we lost three. We finished with nine points. Atletico Madrid running away with it with 15 points. But in the knockout rounds, how well did we do? Well, we got all the way to the final. We knocked out AC Milan, RB Leipzig, Arsenal in the semi-final. And it's Real Madrid in the final where we lose on penalties. On to their Premier League where we are champions. And yet again, Tottenham and Villa, since this winter update, are the two teams that I think had a major boost. But we're champions. We won 32, drew four, only lost two games all season. We scored 137 goals, conceded 46. We got a goal difference of 91. And a really good points tally of 100. So where are all these goals coming from? Well, Haaland's got 52 of them. Alvarez has got 28. Jack Grealish having a good season, 22 goals. Assists, what do we have? Carl Walker, 23 assists. Kevin De Bruyne with 23 assists as well. And the best performer is Haaland with a 7.48. And when we look at clean sheets, well, we scored so many, but we also conceded a few. So we ain't got that many what we normally do. We've got 19 clean sheets. On to their team stats now, where most points a game. We're top here with 2.63, which is very good. We knew it scored a lot of goals. 137, which is 53 more than Villa. Uh, top them scoring a lot of goals as well. We also finished top on most shots for with 775. Fewer shots against. We're in fifth place here, though, with 339. Most possession, we're on here in fifth place with 56%. Uh, most dribbles made, third place here with 707. Most clean sheets, joint fifth place here with only 11 clean sheets, fewest conceded. Seventh place here, conceding 46 for a season. Like I say, we conceded a few more than we normally do with City, but we also scored a lot more than we normally do as well. Not unlucky in the Champions League, losing out on penalties to Real Madrid, but this it's mostly about this 100 points that's a great great start well our next team is brighton and we start with their Carabao cup where we lose against arsenal in the third round 3-1 and in the fa cup is arsenal again knocking us out in the quarterfinal 4-2 but we do have an excuse because batman got sent off after 68 minutes at that time it was two all but sadly with 10 men we just couldn't hold on on to their Europa League, where we topped our group. We won five, drew one, didn't lose a single game, finished with 16 points above Atalanta. Then the knockout rounds, well, the way leg, we lost 4-2. Home leg was okay, won all, but it was the way leg that really let us down. So that's 5-3 on aggregate. On to their Premier League, with Man City start, which was very good. Brighton finishing ninth place, one place above our season preview which is okay. We won 14, we drew eight, we lost 16, we scored 77 goals, but we conceded 91, a minus 14 goal difference and a points tally of 50. On to their player stats now where Pedro's top goal scorer, 21 goals and Danny Welbeck doing very well as well with 19 goals. Eva Ferguson with 17 goals. Yet again, not really playing him. 14 as a start and 25 as a super sub. Uh, Assist-wise, what do we have? March with 15, Ferguson with 12. Their best performer is 
Should we give it to Ferguson? He did play a lot of times as a super sub. So we are going to give it to him a 7.25 for Ferguson. And clean sheets. This is the problem. It's good going forward, but not so good in defense. We've only got five clean sheets. So on to team stats now. And like I've been saying, we're scoring a lot of goals. We've got 77 goals, which is excellent. Most shots for eighth place of 473. And we're also on most tackles one, eighth place of 857. And that is your lot. 50 points is okay with Brighton. Sometimes Luton does do a lot better. Let's hope this is one of those times. Well, their Carabao Cup journey, well, they only nearly went on to win it. They knocked out Chelsea, Ipswich, Brighton, not in the forest in the same final. Arsenal in the final, which is always going to be tough. And we just miss out 2-1. And in the FA Cup, we got knocked out against Preston. It did take a replay. We scored after nine minutes, Doughty on the score sheet. But um, they left it very late, 91st and 92nd minute winner. Sadly, though, it's not, it's not great. But in the league, this is where this tactic really shines. We finished in sixth place with Luton, 14 places above our season preview. We won 21, we drew seven, we lost 10, we scored 84 goals, conceded only 54, a goal of 30, and a really good point selling of 70. Considering Brighton's results, they really, Brighton really let this tactic down. Luton have done very well. On to the player stats where Adebayo's got 25 goals, Morris has got 20 goals, a very good pairing. Sis, what do we have? Cabal with 16, Ross Barkley with 11. Their best performer is Cabal with a 7.24. Clean sheets, what do we have? We got 12. I think Brighton had five, was it? This is done so much better than Brighton. On to Luton's team stats now, where most points per game, sixth place or 1.84. Amazing. Most goals, second place here, 84 goals we scored in the league. Three behind Main City, one more than Liverpool, just absolutely crazy. Most shots for joint fifth place here with 497. Fewer shots against were not on there, so I didn't need to click it. Most tackles won. We are on here, though, eighth place, 857. And also, most clean sheets were in sixth place here, or joint sixth place with 11 clean sheets. Those are the only lists that were on. Unlucky in the Carver Cup. You just don't want to face Arsenal, Main City, Liverpool, someone like that. You want an easy, easy final. But sadly, it was close. Just wasn't to be. But this, 70 points with Main City's 100 is phenomenal. But Brighton just letting us down. So let me add up the points and see where it comes in our tactic testing league. Mouse map version 2 comes in at a number 7 spot. Done very well considering Brighton didn't do too well. It won 67, drew 19, lost 28. Scored 298 goals, did concede 191. We got a goal difference of 107. It won three trophies and a really, really good point instead of 220. Like I say, Brighton really has tapped it down, but luckily, Main C and Luton turn up. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching my series a lot. If you need instructions because you're playing on console, please carry on watching it because I'm about to run over it. So starting off in goal, we've got a sweeper, keeper on defend. There will be some add-on instructions. So pause it when need be. On the left-hand side, we've got a wing back on automatic. A lot of instructions. On the right-hand side, we've got a wing back on automatic. We've got a ball playing defender on defend. Alongside another ball playing defender on defend. We got a defense midfielder on defend in front of him. And in front of him, we got a Mazala support. On the left hand side, we've got an inside forward attack. On the right hand side, we've got an inside forward attack. Up front, we've got advanced forward attack. Alongside another advanced forward attack. Mentality is attacking in possession. What do we have? We've got attacking with fairly wide. Approach play, passing space, overlap on the left. Overlap on the right, passing direct is play out of defense, even passing direct is shorter, tempo higher, time wasting never, low crosses, run at defense. In transition, what do we have? Counter press, counter, dispute quickly, throw it long for a change, something different. Out of possession, what do we have? We've got a high press line of engagement. We've gone for a standard defensive line. You see the high one so often. A trick press much more often, prevent short goal kick distribution and get stuck in. 
and that is the tactic hopefully not too many mistakes there for i miss out right thank you guys again that is it from me and if you want to upload your own tactic to my website the link for it will be in the description below please do or if you've got a tactic suggestion from someone else leave that in the comments below have a great day and i will see you in the next video see you then